My name is Lisa Cousins, and I'm at Oregon Health and Science University, the Knight Cancer Institute. Jim Allison, Chair of the Department of Immunology at MD Anderson Cancer Center. The reason it's important to hold a conference in tumor immunology at this time is that there's, there's a lot happening uh, in the field. To provide a forum for scientists and clinicians to present new research, cutting edge discoveries, new drugs or new targets that are moving to the clinic, to keep the uh, pipeline going with regards to how can we impact cancer medicine over the next 10 years. New discoveries, new insights, most recent research. But when I started first coming to AACR meetings, there'd be maybe one session on immunology, it'd be in a small room and be half filled, you know. And now, it's, you know, the biggest rooms are filled because there's so much going on. It's especially important to bring people together from different um, areas of cancer research because immunotherapy um, done properly can, can give some of the properties of immune response to more conventional therapies like radiation or chemotherapy or genomically targeted drugs. And um, it, it's really important, I think, to have a meeting like, like this that has all fields in it, but a big focus on immunology so that it can bring everybody together and we can start combining these different modalities. If we can make them work nicely together, we're gonna really start you know, knocking a lot of kinds of cancer out in many people. The recognition that we can treat patients with cancer with drugs targeting normal immune processes has changed cancer medicine. We're seeing improved responses for malignancies where there have never been therapies that have been successful. With the short list of molecules and drugs that we have at hand already, we've changed cancer medicine forever. Right now, ch checkpoint blockade is approved for, I think, 20 different indications. And in some of them, such as metastatic melanoma combinations, right now are, are having impact on almost two-thirds of patients with metastatic disease. Five years ago when this started, the median life expectancy after diagnosis was 11 months. And now we know that 20% of people treated with anti-CTLA-4 or ipilimumab are alive 10 years after a single round of treatment. We know the basic rules here. We don't know in detail many of the mechanisms, but it's figuring out those mechanisms again and bringing people together in a setting like this which things combine, which things might synergize, or which things might at least be additive, or which things, you know, will cancel each other out, which, of which there are several, and then uh, those that don't make any difference, because it's not, it's a, it's a real shame to do trials um, that don't have any chance of success, and where you could avoid it by little, little insight, little science. Young investigators should always be excited about coming to scientific conferences. It's a way to expand the breadth of their knowledge, learn new facets of the science that they're interested in, but it's also a wonderful opportunity for them to meet leaders in the field for mentoring advice, um, considerations for their own research programs, how they can grow and expand, but also they can meet colleagues that they will then spend the rest of their careers with. The other wonderful thing about the special conferences is that not only do academic scientists attend these, but investigators from biotech and pharma. And so what has happened over the last 10 or 15 years is the recognition that academic labs doing basic science research have to partner or benefit from partnerships with pharma and biotech. So when the AACR invited me to participate along with my co-chairs, Drew Pardall, Ira Melman, and Jim Allison in organizing this meeting, the four of us were remarkably enthusiastic about generating or setting up a meeting that would provide opportunities to bring in new ideas, new approaches, new methods, new technologies uh, to impact the clinic over the next decade.